Okay. Okay, let's go ahead and start and um, people can continue to join us. Welcome everyone. Thank okay. you for being here. Hello, this is Signs of the Times, a protest art workshop, and we are thrilled to see you here today. My name is Julie Rosa. I am the First Amendment Specialist at the Greenlee School, and this event is one of many events that is that are happening this week as part of our First Amendment Days. And First Amendment Days is now in its 19th year. This celebration is designed to educate and uh, reach out about the five freedoms of the First Amendment. And those are, of course, speech, press, petition, assembly, and religion. Our theme this year is some assembly required. And so it makes perfect sense that this session is timely and relevant based on that theme. And best of all, it's hands on. So last night we were treated to a keynote um, lecture by Bonnie Siegler, who is a graphic designer out of New York. And uh, if you are fortunate enough to, to watch last night's event, you will have learned a lot about protest art. And now today we have our very own in-house expert, visual and graphic designer, uh, Sherry Bergerfer, who is a colleague of mine at Greenlee. Uh, and she will help us so translate some of what we talked about last night into action today. So it's pretty exciting. Let me tell you just a little bit more about Sherry. Most of us know her already, but Sherry Bergefer is is uh, uh, um, her topics of interest. Excuse me, include augmented reality, graphic design, technology, virtual reality, visual communications, and web design and development. Now, are you seeing a pattern there? She is highly creative. Uh, especially when it comes to all things um, graphic design. So she has served on the First Amendment Committee for years, and uh, I can say firsthand as chair of the committee that we have benefited greatly from her creativity, her expertise, and her dedication. So with that, Sherry, take it away. Thanks, Julie. Um, yeah, so I don't know if other people saw, or how many other people saw um, Bonnie's talk last night? Uh, like Julie said, it was amazing. Uh, and I had the opportunity to, to actually attend one of her talks previously about this. Uh, when we decided to do this topic, I just, I thought it would be great if we did just a really hands-on component to it. Um, I, I, it's one thing to talk about signs, it's something to be able to make them. Now, what's interesting is when we first started talking about doing this topic last year, we were actually a little ahead of the curve on everything. Um, had everything gone as planned last year with this topic, we would have pre been presenting this about a month before the world exploded. Um, it was about a month after this, you know, May, it'll be one year since we had all of the protests um, for Black Lives Matter. Um, so it's, it's all really timely. And of course, things have not settled down um, really any over the course of the last year. More and more people are you know, taking their passions out to the street and starting to present them in a very visual manner. So what I want to do is I want to give all of us a chance to make our own signs, whether we actually display them publicly or just prop them against a wall in our offices or our rooms. Uh, being able to visually see what you believe in is going to be really important. So to start out, I do have just like five slides. Um, let's talk about what goes into and effective sign. Let me pull this up. All right, hopefully everybody can see that. All right. And hopefully I can get it to actually change. There we go. Now, when it comes to making protest art, the materials that you need are actually pretty simple. If you're going to, if you want something that's going to last, and if you want something that's going to be kind of weather resistant, if you're going to be outside, 
you're going to want to go with foam board. And I picked this up yesterday at Hobby Lobby. Um, this one was like $7. There's cheaper stuff you can get. Um, but it, it's got a foam core to it. It's got a heavy paper on it. It's pretty durable. It's not going to bend easily in the wind. Um, in fact, it kept trying to blow out of my hands walking to my car. Uh, you can also use cardboard. You know, if you have an Amazon box, if you have an old pizza box, whatever it is, you can use cardboard. Um, not as durable in the weather, of course. Um, and you, it can be a little hard to see what's written on it if you use colored ink at all. Now, I also have wrapping paper, too. And the reason is a lot of cities actually prohibit having sticks attached to your signs. So using, you know, a giant paint stick or something like that, um, a lot of cities have prohibited that. So instead, you can take wrapping paper tubes and flatten those out um, or flatten them and wrap them in duct tape and then attach them to your sign. That way you have a way to carry your sign, but you're not violating any city ordinances. And then tape, scissors, pencils, markers. Um, for markers, you're going to want nice, thick ones. You know, don't pull out those fine lines. Brush pens, probably not going to be your best choice. You want something bold. You want something that's going to really stand out. Once you have your materials, you need your message. So what do you believe in? What are you so passionate about that you want to put it on a sign? And what's your goal with it? Are you trying to educate people? Are you, are you doing some kind of call to action? Are you looking for some kind of emotional response? You know, how is this going to be viewed? Are you going to be marching with a million other people? Are you going to be marching with just by yourself, you know, standing on a corner with your sign? Are you going to be displaying it from a car? Because all of this is going to depend or it's going to dictate how you need to design things. You know, if you're moving, your message has to be really short and easy to see. And then you also have to consider, are you targeting a group or an individual? Because that's going to change the language that you use. For your words, keep it short. You know, seven to nine words on a sign is really about all the more you want to go. Um, Depending on what you're, you know, what you're saying, you can go a little more. You don't want somebody to have to actually stop and take the time to read. So you want to keep it short. Don't reinvent the wheel unless you actually want to. Uh, the great thing about signs is there's really no such thing as plagiarism when it comes to signs. It's one of the few times when it's okay to copy something that's been said before. Because sometimes that's the message that you need to get across, is what's been said over and over and over again. Whatever you choose to do, make sure that you're making things readable. And then go for emotion. So when you're coming up with your words, you know, brainstorm a little bit. Make a list of what your different messages are, and then find ways to turn those into slogans. Um, you know, this image that we have up here, I love this, super callous, fascist, fascist, racist, extra braggadocious, okay? Taking on Mary Poppins, of all things, and just playing with the words, something that we're all familiar with, and turning it into a message. Play off of those existing memes. If you have a favorite meme about something, find a way to turn it into a sign. Um, use your favorite quote. Um, and then when you're, oops, sorry, when you're going for the emotions, you know, make people laugh, make people cry, make people angry, you know, shock them, show them something that they're not expecting to see because above all, you want to be memorable. This, memorable. this is not the time to blend into the woodwork. For your designs, we want to stick with very simple color palettes, black on white, is always going to be a winner. So, um, you know, your whiteboard, if you have just a big black Sharpie, that's really all you need. If you do use color, make sure you've got a lot of contrast. You want your, your words, you want your design to stand out. You want to be able to be seen. 
when it comes to lettering, you can certainly use stencils. You can print out what you want, cut it out and paste it on your board. Or you can hand letter. And I'm not talking the super fancy calligraphy, which you can certainly do that um, if that's your choice, but just write it. Um, you know, the hand drawn, hand written is going to have a much different feel. It's going to be more grassroots. It's going to be more organic if it's written in your own hand, because now it's your beliefs, your feelings, your hand, you took the time to do this. And don't be afraid to make it two-sided for two reasons. First of all, you can get your message across twice. You can actually have complimentary messages on each side. And if your picture is taken with your side, you don't even have to be facing the camera for your message to get out there. If it's on both sides, it's going to be seen no matter what. Um, when you are working with your design, be really conscious of the amount of space that you have to work with. Uh, you don't want your text to end up getting really crowded because you ran out of space. A good way to start is write it out on a piece of paper first, figure out where the middle is, and then on your board, find the middle of your board and put your middle letter there and write outwards from that because that's going to make sure that you have enough space. All right, I deliberately kept that short. Okay, so now let's go ahead and start designing our signs. Hopefully everybody has an idea what they want to do. Um, and I really want this to be interactive so um, feel free to use the Q&A at any time. Go ahead and use the chat. I'm going to try to keep an eye on that while I'm doing this. What kinds of ideas are people working with? What kinds of ideas are you passionate about to want to put on a sign? I know I've already picked my topic. Okay, Julie, I'll go first. Yeah, I'll go first. So um, we participate in a march every year that is for juvenile diabetes or type one diabetes. And I was just thinking about what you just said and all the things that we've done wrong with the signs that we do tend to carry. So I'm going to be thinking about a shorter. We usually just carried the name of our team. You know, it said Vanden's Avengers, but I like the idea of like asking for what we want to have happen. So I'm going to be thinking about making it more of a um, demand sign or something like that. Okay, cool. so going with more of the call to action. Yes. Great. Let's see, who else? Um, let's see. Got a little screen here, so I'm trying to adjust things so that I can see. Um, okay, we have somebody, women's rights. Haven't decided what's on the sign yet, but women's rights is a good one to do. Absolutely. Um, so I'm, I've been, oh, with somebody. I've been giving this a lot of thought for the last several days, what I wanted to do. Um, because honestly, there is so much going on. I've got a lot of passion but the one that really hit me was yesterday with the, the latest shooting in Minneapolis when it came out saying, well, it was an accident because she thought she had a taser instead of her gun. And I'm just, I'm having a hard time with that, you know, after doing some reading on things, I'm just having a, a tough time with that. So that's what I've decided that I'm going to take on with my sign today. Um, now, if anybody saw Bonnie's talk last night, she said, you know, it's really important to use a strong image 
and then um, have just a few words. And so I'm going to use images and words. So, um, okay, looking, I see somebody else who is doing BLM for the topic. That is fantastic. All right, does everybody have their materials? Let's go ahead and let's start doing our sign. So I'm gonna actually start with my pencil because I don't trust myself with a marker. Um, I'm the kind of person I like to kind of draw things out first. And the best thing about the signs is you don't have to be an artist. You just have to be able to get your idea across. So I'm, I've got my board and we're gonna see how this is going to work for me. I'm just gonna start with a pencil and let me see if I can maybe aim this down a little bit. I have no idea how this is going to work. And my text that I've decided I'm going to go with is very simple, no excuses. Uh, two words, okay? And that's because there's always some kind of excuse that's given when we have these shootings. And so I wanna go with no, no excuses. Um, and I know that there's also, it, it plays a couple of ways because there's also a Bible verse that starts out with no excuses. Um, I want to say it's in Leviticus. Um, and it talks about, you know, there are no excuses and condemnation and things like that. So I'm going to just kind of eyeball where my center of my board is going to be. And I'll just make a really faint line above that. I'm gonna go with the vertical, that's kind of my center line. I'm gonna keep my text at the top and then I'll do my images down below. So let's see, if I, I wrote it out so that I can count easily. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, so I have 10 letters and characters. So I need to have my C and my U on either side of my, my line here. And so I'm going to sketch these out. I'm gonna start with those two letters and I'm going to just kind of sketch them really roughly in block form. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect. I'm sure for anybody who has had um, any design training, you know, I'm, I'm not using rulers or anything like this. My, I'm trying to keep my letter spacing, my kerning right, but I, I make no promises. Okay. So I've got my first two letters on here. Now I can just kind of build out from that. I probably could have gone a little bit bigger now that I'm looking at that. Of course, I chose something that has S's in it. Those are always hard for me to draw as blocks. And if you don't have your slogan already, just start working up some ideas on a separate piece of paper. That I'm just sketching this really, really roughly right now. sure that some of you are going to be putting me to shame with your own skills. Okay. I think my letter is starting to get off just a little bit in size. It'll be okay.
Another reason for using pencil for this is if you do get off, it's a whole lot easier to change things. If you have pencil, start with pencil instead of the marker. Which, as I'm looking, I need to move things over. Probably should have added an eraser to my list of materials. Now, if you are the kind of person who you are just absolutely, I cannot even draw a stick figure. Um, the nice thing with signs being so personal is you can actually also just design it on the computer. You know, use whatever you whatever you have. Use Illustrator. Use Word. Whatever you happen to have, print it out. You can also just take printed sheets and tape them directly to your board. So if, if things just do not work um, doing it by hand, you always have that option. And it's, it's not going to make any less of a sign. So the great thing is there is no right or wrong when it comes to these. I think I'm going to be happier with this a little bit. And I may end up just tightening this up a little bit when I get to it with the marker. Facing is off, so I'll add. Okay. So when, I don't know how well you can see this, but when I say rough, mine is literally just sketched out on here for now. Okay. How are your signs coming? Now, I'm ready to start sketching my graphic. Now, here's the thing. Even though I am a designer, drawing is not my forte. There is software for that. Put a mouse in my hand, and I can do really great stuff. Put a pencil in my hand, and it's going to be kind of hit or miss. So, so like I said, you don't have to be an artist. There is no judgment here. And think about what I 
saw here. Uh, I need to check a reference photo that I had. There we go. That's what I needed. Get a little. I hate it when my pencil makes noises like that. Undecided if I want to add that. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So I'll see if I can hold mine up. I don't know. Can you guys see that at all? I know it's pretty faint on there and I've got weird lighting. I, I'm not really able to see it very clearly. Okay. All right. So I've got my no excuses at the top. And then I have just a really rough sketch of a gun. And I've got a couple of shells down here. The not equal sign. And then I have a sketch of a taser. Okay. On the, the other side and they're facing each other. So that's going to be the design that I'm I'm going with. Okay, cool. All right. What did you decide to go with, Julie? So <clears throat> I don't know if you'll be able to see mine either very easily. Probably not. Mine, I was trying to think of a slogan about this march that we do. So I wrote fire these shots and then I drew a picture of an actual needle and then it says cure T1D at the bottom. So I was trying okay, to play out, okay. uh, I was trying to come up with a twist of like shots and shots fired. I'm not sure I love it, but uh, it'll work for today. And it was easy to do the big letters and to have it kind of fill up the board and plus one image too. Okay. Good. What are some of the rest of you have? You starting to get yours on the, on your board? All right, well, I'm going to go ahead now and I'm going to start in with my markers. Um, and I've got a variety of markers. I also, because I want to use a little bit of color, in addition to my regular black Sharpie, um, I did pick up a pack of multicolored Sharpies because who doesn't love multicolored Sharpies? But for my lettering, I went with a nice big one and to make sure I have all the colors I need, I actually have paint markers as well that I'm, that I can use. 
Um, so again, for this, you can use anything. Uh, you, I mean, if you have crayons, you could use crayons for this. Uh, the, the whole idea is just making it very visual. All right. So let's make sure this works. I'm going to start with my lettering. And this marker is very squeaky on this board. But by using a thick marker like this, it keeps me from having to be super precise in drawing my letters. It also makes creating a sign quick so that if I decided, if I heard all of a sudden that, you know, there was something going on that I wanted to participate in, you know, by using the nice stick marker, I can put something together without a ton of preparation. All right. Hold mine up here in just a second. All right. Even with all my sketching, mine is a little bit off center, but nice and bold, easy to read at a distance. Okay, so now I'm going to start with the images that I chose on here. Do the easy one first. All right. 
and I will say this big marker definitely smells. Okay. All right, one of them. <laughs> Here in a minute. I will hold this up before I add color. I'm just going to show everybody what I ended up doing because I know my drawing was hard to see. Is here I will fill in. I'm using black already. And I'm going to add one thing at the bottom here. That could not have been more off center if I would have tried, but here we go. And then I'm just going to add some coloring in here as well, just to make it stand out a little bit more. All right.
you saw from my sketches, I went really basic with my drawings because I just wanted to get the idea across. I didn't want detail. This isn't a time where you want tons of detail work because the idea is for our messages to be seen and read very, very quickly. All right. A little color to mine now, just because I can. Again, just use what you have. I happen to have a ridiculous amount of art supplies here, so I'm going to take advantage of some of those. Almost done with mine here. That seems awkward because everything is so quiet. I think this would have been a lot of fun if we'd been able to all be together in person doing this. All right. 
<clears throat> okay. Trying to get this lined up in my camera, but there we go. There is my sign. Actually, I think this would be ready to be taken outside. Um, another nice thing with foam board is I wouldn't have to actually put it on a stick. I could very easily hold it in a variety of ways. This is, of course, just single sided right now. But if I do say, my, say so myself, I think this will be pretty effective. How are you guys doing? I don't know. Can, can they unmute themselves, Sherry? Um, that's what I'm actually checking right now. Um, um, unmute I mean, I was able to, I think, unmute everybody. Okay, well, at least that will help in case they do want to display. I'll show you my uh, sign, but I don't really want to, but I will. <laughs> um, so I ended up just, just, I don't have the fat markers. I wish I did, but so I just, I just wrote it out like this. And it, like I said, it says fire these shots and then the shot uh, symbol here, whatever. But, you know, it was, good. it was good to try and I learned a lot. I probably would start again, frankly, uh, but I loved your sign and I love how simple yet effective it is. So thank you very much. I, I would yeah. love to hear from anyone else as well. Yeah, absolutely. And yours, yours is great. Um, it's got the call to action on there. You've got a slogan and you do have a very rec recognizable image on there. So, yeah, I would say just foam board. So it's a little sturdier. Yeah. <laughs> um, let's see. I'm also looking to see if I have this set so that people can actually share their own screens. I'm privileged to. I am able to unmute myself now. Perfect. What did you end up going with? Um, my the camera on my phone is busted. So even if you're able to get the video up, it's not going to show anything. Okay. Um, but I went with um. I guess I wasn't here for the first little bit of it. Okay. Um, were we getting, were we supposed to choose whatever cause we wanted? Yep. Okay. Um. Well, mine was pretty simple then. I just wanted to make sure because you both kind of did like, uh, gun control and stuff. So I wanted to make sure. Um. For mine, I kind of did um, pretty simple. It's not like a catchy thing. It's just my body, my choice. Okay. Um. And it's just kind of like, I mean, that's all it was, but I did black letters. I'm trying to like describe it. <laughs> um, I did black letters, bubble letters. Um, and then I have like, kind of like a silhouette of like a woman on it. Okay. <laughs> I don't really know how to, it's like on the, on the side, it's like a profile silhouette, kind of. Okay. Um, I, I can see how that would be very effective with your message. So yeah, that was, that was kind of it. <laughs> it's okay. pretty simple. I tossed some color around the outline of the silhouette so that it pops a little bit more, but. Gotcha. So are you planning on displaying this in your room or? Um, probably, honestly, or in my living room now. In your living room? But I may want to remake it if I'm going to do that, just because I'm 
I'm kind of a perfectionist and it <laughs> this kind of went a little quickly for me. Normally, if I was going to display artwork, it would take me hours. Right. So That's the idea here is to just kind of do something on the fly. Yeah. <laughs> I just I <laughs> I used to be a design major. I'm not anymore. So like I'm very That's much it. like, oh, this needs to be straight. This needs to be, you know. <laughs> I think it is great that you're planning on displaying that. <laughs> it was definitely a learning experience for me to not yeah. be, like to just be able to do something quickly. Yeah, um, you know, for this, it's just it's really it's all about the that very visceral, emotional. I need to I need to stand for something, and I need to stand for it right now. Mm -hmm. and so that's. That's the whole idea. That's why we want that punch, why we want that simple imagery, um, but we want those powerful messages in there. Yeah, very true. Right. Anybody else want to share what they've done? Um, I can share mine. Okay. I'm not quite done with it, but... Um... Just kind of in the midst of like the Chauvin trials and stuff, I did something kind of in regards to the whole George Floyd. So it says, um, until we all breathe free. And then in the corner, I have like BLM. Okay. Nice. So yours is all text based? Yes. Okay. Perfect. Um, are you planning on displaying yours? Yeah, I am. Um... I'm actually like from the neighborhood where George Floyd was killed, so I'll probably bring it down to oh, like wow. the square and put it somewhere in that vicinity. Okay. Um, yeah, so this has that one has more meaning for you. Yeah. Awesome. I mean, yeah, awesome, but not awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Um, who else? Okay. All right. Well, um, I'm glad everybody was able to make a sign today. I hope, I hope you did find this helpful. Um, I, I really hope that you continue to be passionate about what's going on. Um, I really hope that you continue exercising your First Amendment rights, using your voice, using the, you know, the right to assemble, um, taking advantage of everything that's going on right now. Because I can say in my lifetime, I have not seen this level of activism, this level of activity from people. Um, and it's not just one topic, it's, it's a bunch of topics. Uh, so it's not like you are really limited in what you, what you can be out there saying. Um, I'm happy to, you know, stick around for a bit and continue talking about this or to help you with what you're working on. Otherwise, um, I'm going to say, since, you know, uh, videos and things weren't working that well today, if you want to, you could take a picture of yourself holding your sign and go ahead, put it on social media using our First Amendment hashtag. What is that this year, Julie? It is hashtag ISU first. Okay. So go ahead, put that out there. Go ahead and tag First Amendment in it. Um, that way everybody can see your work. Everybody can see what it is that you believe in. All right, I am happy to answer any questions anybody has. Well, 
Sherry, I want to thank you um, on behalf of, uh, of all of us who learned from this session. Thank you for your time and your expertise. And like you said, I think there is no more uh, important time than right now to get involved, to, to find a cause that you feel strongly about and, and to make your views known. So this has been perfect and, um, you know, sort of like you said, sadly, but perfectly timed. So thank you. All right. Thanks. Thank you. Have a, yep. Have a great rest of your day, everyone. Thank you, everybody.